So welcome on the next OVP Open Virtualization Pro webinar. This time I have a privilege to have a guest speaking of progress from the Red Hat. Welcome. Give me five, man. Hello. Hello. Uh, the, the subject is how to set up, it should be virtual environments, but we don't have enough space here. So, but how to set up virtual environments with, with Red Hat satellites. So Red Hat satellite will be our, let's say the major reason why we'll, we'll have a presentation and a live demo. Yes. Uh, few words about Zbigniew. Zbigniew is one of the greatest experts that I know in the last, in the last decade. You know, we met when you've been in, in a, on a customer side. Uh, right now you're working at Red Hat. Uh, glad, to, glad, glad, glad to have you uh, and one of the experts from the open virtualization. So what's, what's the plan for today's session, Zbigniew? At the beginning, uh try to describe what is Red Hat Satellite and at the end of the presentation I run some sm small demo okay. how to set up your virtual machine with only Red Hat Satellite without any other tools. Okay, the satellite is connected with the cloud? Or was... Uh, it was or was before the cloud was uh, you yes, know, famous? Yes, this, this environment is cut it off uh, from the internet, it's, okay. it's uh, closed uh, to our uh, how to say, demo systems, uh, but generally Red Hat Satellite is uh, stay between internet and your internal network. Okay, so as let's go. As a single point of, uh, for example, distribution, new packages, etc, etc. Okay, let's we start. So, in shortly described, the Red Hat Satellite is platform to manage patching, provisioning, subscriptions, etc. of your all environment. Mm -hmm. um, generally it's used to manage Red Hat uh, product, but not only. If you have planned to using this product uh, to the community version, for example CentOS, etc. it's of course uh, can do, you can do this because uh, generally satellite based on uh, Foreman project, which is open source a community project to manage your systems. Okay, but manage, of course, more the Linux ecosystem. Uh, Gener generally, yes. A little bit talking uh, some, about the Windows. Some, 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 some capabilities, for example, uh, remote installation can install anything. Can okay. install VMware, can install Windows, etc., etc. Of course, to the fully manage, uh, it's not product. Uh, the created to manage, for example, uh, VMware. So definitely the, the Linux space, we'll exactly. concentrate yes. on it. Yes. Okay. we we'll concentrate to the Linux world. Okay, let's start. What can you do with the Red Hat Satellite? You can manage infrastructure, you can uh, streaming content, you can deploy, you can uh, integration, you can, for example, uh, and build some enhancement, enhancement security enhancement, to uh, remote manage. The basic concept of the Red Hat Satellite is content manage. Uh, what it mean? It mean uh, if you need to have um, central repository for all your uh, Linux, for your Red Hat Linux, for all your CentOS Linux, etc. The Red Hat Satellite give you capabilities to build, um, how to say, one big place with have uh, all your packages uh, already downloaded. Mm -hmm. You do not, do not, you do not uh, need to download uh, additional uh, packages directly from your systems. Um, this naturally solved the problem in biggest organization, how to avoid access your critical system directly to the internet to acquiring, for example, new version of some packages because uh, there is a security issue in okay, these packages. So the, so the first reason is that I don't want to put all of my critical system on a web. Yes. So I don't want to get the access. So I'm using the one repository to manage for all of the... Exactly. I'm curious about the, I'm curious about the curation of content. It's more about, it's like the marketing. Well... <laughs> it's using the curation of the content. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to... Ex could you explain a little bit? Um, it means uh, you have a um, whole, how to say, 
capabilities to to check these packages, to check okay. the version, to for example promote your content between uh, between testing stage and production okay. stage. Okay. Okay. There is the, the the queue of this of this point. You have um, fully predictable uh, predictable uh, flow, from example, from your uh, development environment mm -hmm. through the, your test environment, uh, and stopping on your uh, production environment. Okay, next slide. Uh, patch management. You have, of course, uh, because you have repository to patching. You can, uh, for example, start patching directly from the satellite. You got some uh, reports about uh, what is the patching status of your environment. You can create group of your system based, for example, of your uh, critical uh, um, capabilities to, to, to using this application. Of course, uh, with the Red Hat satellite, uh, you have uh, quick, um, how to say, time to market if is some critical issue, mm -hmm. the Red Hat satellite can uh, on, on demand uh, synchronize your repository, then, then you have uh, directly access from satellite to the, the last security patches. Okay, so let's, let's have an example. So we, let's say we have a 100 of the VM, so 100 exactly. of the physical mm -hmm. servers, we have some security breach, we just download and test it and we prom promote it this, this, context, this, change, yes. this context to the 100 as a, in, in a few in, clicks, yes? Yes. Okay, go on. Uh, provisioning management. As I mentioned, you can, uh, you can for example, uh, install uh, not only Linux, just, in my opinion, every, every operating system which have capabilities to, to the network installation. Uh, of course, the installation process of the, uh, of the Linux, especially on the Red Hat Linux, is uh, fully automated. Uh, you can, for example, import into the satellite non-provisioning host. Uh, what it means, um, you can start many servers from a small ISO. Uh -huh. uh, this small ISO has a uh, built-in uh, IP address of your Red Hat satellite. And in, in the console of the Red Hat satellite, you see the servers which is non-provisioning then doesn't have, a, for example, any operating system. Okay. And after this, you can automate to the install this operating system. With Ansible or the other, let's say, well, option to orchestrate? Uh, Ansible need to already install it operating system. Okay. Uh, you have, for example, Red Hat Linux, you have uh, Exchange uh, SSH keys, then you have manage uh, through the Ansible. Ansible doesn't, pure Ansible doesn't have capabilities to install uh, operating system directly on bare metal machine, for example. Okay. Subscription management. Uh, if you using uh, Red Hat products, for example, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, then you uh, want to easy manage of your uh, already uh, already buying subscription. Mm -hmm. The Red Hat satellite have capabilities to easy. Uh, for example, monitor use of this uh, of the subscription have, uh, for example, easy reporting uh, which subscription is used on which machine, etc., etc. Of course, you can create reports about the subscription uh, consumption. Additional capabilities, as I mentioned, uh, Red Hat uh, satellite have built-in uh, Ansible, which is the best, uh, in my opinion automatization tool in the world. You uh, don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I no, have, I'm just kidding. I have, I have, I have, I have <laughs> choice because we still have built-in Puppet okay. as an automation, uh, automation tool. Many of uh, capabilities to, to automate still using pure, uh, pure Puppet uh, receipts, but many of new features using, uh, is using by only uh, as a uh, as uh, Ansible uh, playbooks. It's important right now I understand why the Metallica, you know, chose the Master of Puppets <laughs> in uh, A86. So I understand that, you know, they, they predict the future, exactly. how to or orchestrate the crowd. Uh, okay, uh, the question from my side, mm -hmm. uh, where actually, where is the place for the satellite? So where I should consider satellite in my envir environment? and when not, yeah? when I'm not ready to, to have this kind of the okay. capabilities. Uh, not ready. 
For example, if you have a very small environment, I don't know, uh, 10, 20 virtual machines. Uh, second, uh, you have uh, not aware about uh, security environment. For example, you have exposed your virtual machine to the direct access to the internet. Um, third, you don't want to automatize uh, any processes because you are like to manually manage all your virtual machines in your environments. There is three, in my opinion, key, uh, key points about what you need to know have mm -hmm. satellite. Okay, yeah, let's, let's move the, forward. The, the, last, the last, in my opinion, uh, very unique capabilities is the, the unique to use, to use the OpenSCAP uh, scanner built in the uh, Red Hat uh, satellite, uh, which is, uh, can check your uh, operating system um, according to the rules, for example, PCI DDS, etc., etc., and create a report or create uh, some uh, playbooks to fix your systems according to these rules. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the Red Hat satellite uh, using standard operation environment. What does this mean? This, th there is a set standard set, set of uh, your software packages, uh, which can you promote between, for example, three stages of, on your environment, from developer through the test to the production. Uh, security, you can easy access to information about uh, are my system is already patching or not. And the last thing about I mentioned is how check how uh, easy get information about subscription utilization. Uh -huh. Okay. How satellite works? Generally, uh, many of small installation using all-in-one uh, satellite server uh, which have uh, GUI, web-based GUI, which have uh, CLI based on uh, command hammer, and uh, have, of course, uh, multi-tenancy, uh, rollback access control based on roll, etc., etc. In biggest uh, installation or in, for example, very strange network configuration, you can use separate capsule. Separate capsule is a small part of the Red Hat satellite which uh, have just only, um, how to say, repositories okay. and capabilities to, uh, for example, automation, this uh, partially, partially or not connect, disconnected environment. So in most cases, we have a Red Hat server and Red Hat satellite, caps, satellite and the capsule in, in one. Yes. Okay, but we can we we can promote we can more scale out scale, scale out, out this environment capsule. yes okay. through, through the capsule. Uh, I think we'll have s some scenarios to mm -hmm. explain yes. it. Okay, so there is a, a first most common scenario uh, is some company which is have uh, data center Atlanta and want to uh, implement your uh, implement Red Hat satellite uh, with billing capsule. Uh, there is a small environment, uh, but this capability, the, the, in my opinion, the best scenario is uh, cutting off your your virtual machine directly through the, from the internet. Uh -huh. Okay, this company was grow. Uh, buy some uh, buy some bare metal servers or virtual servers in some cloud cloud operator. Uh, to avoid uh, avoid uh, traffic between uh, data center Atlanta and cloud-based infrastructure, then uh, create Red Hat uh, satellite capsule in the same environment. They growing, still then then, then uh, still growing. Uh, they build in big data center in Phoenix. In this data center, uh, the customer need to uh, high availabilities uh, to the Red Hat satellite, uh, which is uh, done by uh, provisioning two uh, capsules and put it between two capsules, uh, simple load balancer. If one of the capsules is broken or, or something like this, the, this load balancer directly uh, redirect traffic from the clients to the second capsule server. 
but in some of cases, one part of environment of this company is completely disconnected from internet, from security reason. For example, I don't know, some automation, some robotic laboratory, some, some analytics laboratory, medics, for example, laboratory, which for security reason must be disconnected from internet. Uh, how manage this environment? There is a, some model called disconnected capsule, which contact between uh, internet and the scattered off uh, environment is uh, done by uh, moving to the, for example, pen drive. This is, this is uh, not tricky, but an interesting scenario because more and yes. more right now, the security guys and data protection guys talking about how to build the air gap. Exactly. I thought a few years ago that it's only the talks, but I see more that more and more customers are actually using this type of the uh, topology to have fully out of, out of networks yes. build the physical environments. And the biggest uh, challenge is how to manage this environment, how to set up this environment, how to patch this environment, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And this is the answer for all of this question. Okay, good one. So, this company has some small developer team, which is completely independent from the rest of the company. They manually manage of your system, they're manually patching your system, etc., etc. You're talking about the DevOps or the developers? You well, know? <laughs> developers. So just even, developers. So even the Red Cap guys see that they're the different guys. So they sit in somewhere in the company. <laughs> Just developers without any operational skills. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so every of this scenario can be uh, can be done by single satellite server, single web console, which is a very powerful uh, tool to manage patching, automatize, etc., etc., whole your aspect of your environment. Okay. What is new features in satellite six point six? So, if, sorry, just stop. If you have six six, so how many how many years the satellite is with us? Today? Wow, it's it's old project. I start with satellite with satellite version five, which is completely different than this okay. satellite. Uh, it's about ten years ten years ago. Okay, when I you said when you said old, I was worried that it's older than me, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel safe right now. <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh, the, biggest, uh, the biggest improvement is in the automation, reporting, key support. Uh, before the version uh, 6.4, when I look in the uh, reporting, uh, reporting um, list, there is a um, very sad, empty web page. There is a only button, create the new uh, report, which is not easy to do because the report is created in Ruby language. Uh, from the version uh, 6.5, there is a set of templates which can you use it, modify it and build uh, your own based on this, uh, this reporting as a template. Okay, automatization. We upgrade uh, built-in uh, Ansible to 2.8. Uh, we have uh, built the new roles which is uh, built into the into the satellite for example the new role is uh, OpenSCAP uh, OpenSCAP checking system what I mentioned before OpenSCAP there is a tool to uh, check your system according to some security rules reporting uh, yeah, now you can schedule uh, sending reporting for example to your uh, bosses about uh, using of your uh, Red Hat subscription, of your, I don't know, patching uh, level, etc., etc. Uh, second is uh, automatically sending every day, for example, reporting about what new errata your environment uh, need to be uh, installed to be, to, to, to be secure. Support. Uh, is very deep integration in our uh, cloud, how to say, part of offering, which is named uh, Red Hat Insight. Mm -hmm. There is a very powerful tool which can acquire some small port information of your from your system, uh, putting uh, sending into the Red Hat network cloud, 
then this information was automatically analyzed and produced some uh, response basing, uh, based on, for example, um, uh, utilization, configuration, etc., etc., and can create uh, some rules to fix up your system. Uh, okay, so it means that you s we send in the data to the inside and the inside giving us a hint yes. about what kind of the rules we should apply. Yes, on not, satellite. not only hints. Uh, Insight can create uh, Ansible playbooks okay. to do the automatically, directly on through the, for example, satellite. Nice one, nice one. Okay, uh, the last thing, uh, the satellite have built in uh, image builder based on our new, uh, new tool called Biltag. The last thing uh, is uh, modernize uh, the desktop uh, to b according to our old the product based on uh, Patterfly. On the Patterfly, um... I'm more curious about the T-shirts. Yes, so how how you understand the T-shirts? <laughs> yeah, the small, medium, and large. <laughs> uh, I show you. Uh, if you create uh, some virtual machine or can, then you. Uh, put just simple information. There is a small virtual machine, okay. there is a, a medium or large virtual machine. Kind of the templates, Exactly, yes. exactly. It's similar ac approach to the OpenStack. Okay. When you have some flavors of your size of your virtual mm -hmm. machines. So I think okay. we, we could go, I don't want to cut you the next slide, but I think uh, we should finalize the presentation uh -huh. from the cloud providers. Yes. It's an exactly. important one. Yes. And then go to the library. Yes, yes. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you can uh, put some uh, capabilities to using cloud providers uh, as a uh, as a extend your uh, uh, your own uh, environment. Uh, there is a list of cloud providers which is directly supported: is AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Engine, Alibaba, of course, uh, IBM Cloud. Some uh, capability, some uh, cloud providers is uh, fully supported. Uh, all parts. Some uh, this 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 uh, cloud providers need uh, to be done done something uh, directly through the um, own uh, cloud uh, tools. So I understand the provision in here is that I can change the configuration of the. Yes, uh, you, you, you can manage, but for example, for Azure, you cannot provision. You can using, uh, you can using, uh, for example, uh, Azure uh, CLI to provision okay. some virtual machine, but the rest part of the of the integration is already done. Okay, so uh, the next step is and resource. There is a some small set of links. Uh, there is a free uh, technical overview. Uh, it's available on Udemy platform, and uh, we have own full four or five day training uh, RH four o three, which gives you um, ability to be a satellite administrator. I will check if we have it on Udemy. I have a Udemy on my side. You can okay, go on a live demo. Okay. Uh, just satellite technical overview. The, yeah, I will, I will prove it. That's all. I create some small demo. Uh, in this demo, uh, I show you how in easy way set up your virtual machine based on pure KVM using Libvirt uh, tool uh, as, a, uh, as a provider to, to, to manage a virtual machine. Okay. Uh, there Found is. It. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Okay. Go on. Okay, there is, a, uh, there is a UI of the Red Hat satellite. There is a many option, uh, many is, uh, it's not easy uh, to, to set a product, but it's a very powerful product. Uh, what, can, what I can uh, show you. I have, uh, I have to connection uh, to directly to the virtualization engine uh, based on, as I mentioned, libvirt. But of course, uh, if you can uh, manage other uh, virtualization provider, there is a list which is supported. It's easy to uh, Google Cloud Engine, libvirt, of course, uh, major of virtualization platform like Red Hat Virtualization and VMware. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy to, to using because there is a uh, 
some small offset uh, um, field to, to field. Uh, I don't know where is your vCenter, uh, what is the name of the administrator, password, etc. etc. That's all. Uh, in this demo, I'm using pure, pure KVM. I show you. Okay, so we have a libvirt. Yes. Mm -hmm. there, th there is a directory connection to the libvirt. Uh, display tip is VNC, and the custom password is Xavier because I'm using uh, SSH key uh, as authorization. Okay, I have I have set of operating system. Uh, in this demo, I'm using Red Hat Eight. Uh, there is an information about uh, what is supported platform, uh, which is uh, which installation media I, I can use, some templates, etc., etc. In this demo, I'm using the the network start. Okay, so there is uh, some machines, some physical or virtual machines. The type model Bosch, it means uh, pure KVM. I create new host. New, vir new, virtual, new virtual machine, basic of the capabilities. Let's this machine was named SAT Web Miner. I'm using the host group RHEL 8, which I show you on the before screen. And in my opinion, that's all. Mm, just, just get rid of the M webinar. Web miner. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I will, it will be a different one. Okay, good one. Okay, so I show you the process. Uh, as you see, uh, uh, I didn't show you before, uh, this, hub, this host was completely empty. Uh -huh. uh, at this moment, uh, at this moment, satellite connect uh, directly to the libvirt uh, and start the new virtual machine. And now I show you the screen of the libvirt using this viewer give me a second here you are uh -huh. there is a screen as you see uh, the satellite start this virtual machine uh, start from network using uh, PXC protocol uh -huh. uh, there is a just simple start of virtual machine. In next step, I show you. So I understand the scenario is giving us the approach that we don't need to keep the golden images. Yes. Every time we, we just, you know, have up to date, um, ready packages from the satellites. Exactly, exactly. And easily, you know, yes, yes. run it on demand. Exactly. You have the same set of packages. Uh, based on standard operation environment, like in rest of your environment. Yes, you don't need to uh, build, uh, build the virtual machine for the golden image, patching this virtual machine, anonymize this virtual machine, and, uh, and create new golden image based on, uh, based on current version of the operating system. And so, uh, at this moment, Anaconda uh, create the new file system and in some in few seconds start normal installation like I don't know through the CD-ROM installation on the uh -huh. new uh, on the new virtual machine. The biggest environment with the satellite that we've seen? Uh, in Poland. Uh -huh. uh, more than 2,000 virtual machines. Okay. So definitely it's worth to automate it. This exactly. process. Exactly. Uh, this is definitely a tool to can easy help. Okay, uh, so we have a 400 34 yes, packages, yes. but uh, it, but in the, there is a normal installation. Uh, it's called uh, small installation. This installation was about uh, five to six minutes. Mm -hmm. And after this, the server was automatically rebooted. And after this, uh, you can see the normal uh, login screen. Okay. Uh, the installation was finished. The server was automatically restarted. And in a second, 
we just simply log in into the new into this new server. Do you know the password? Yes, I know. <laughs> I put it this password in the configuration. Here. Okay, are. there we go. Completely new uh, virtual machine in I don't know five six minutes. And I like this name because everybody will know that the, it's not the webinar, but webinar is our <laughs> it's it's our machine from yes. the web from the OVP webinar. <laughs> uh, so glad to have to have it. Uh, Zbigniew, and anything else uh, from the live demo perspective? Uh, in my, in, I didn't prepare this, but in this moment. Uh, I can run some uh, Ansible uh, playbooks to do something with this machine. For example, install, install I don't know, um, um, Insight uh, module. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe just show where, do not execute oh. because we are running out of time, yes, yes, but yes. showing the example. Uh, there is an example in this, uh, in this machine, uh, the Insight client uh, was already in, already installed just during the installation. After pure installation, the ANSI will connect to the to the this virtual machine and install the rest of the packages, which is depend mm -hmm. from the inside uh, client perspective. Okay, dog. So I think we we finish. You know, like in a clock, forty minutes. So we have one minute left. So, uh, so thank you. Mm, that was the first impression and the first webinar about the Red Hat satellite with Zbigniew Paris from the Red Hat. Uh, if you have any question, uh, if you would like to go deep dive in a subject, just let us know, comment, you know, put the likes or dislikes, whatever, just react <laughs> on our webinar. It's important for the community to get the knowledge in which direction we should go. Uh, I'm really happy because uh, all of our webinars have a more and more attendees and more and more viewers on, on a YouTube uh, channel. Uh, Zbigniew, anything else from your side, my friend? Um, it's not easy product to set up, but if you can spend some part of your time to correct implement this, this solution, this solution will help you to care about your environment. Zbigniew, not only satellite is, it's not easy, life is not easy from the time. True, true. So uh, thank you for your time, thank, thank you, you for too. all of the attendees, uh, stay in touch and see you on one of the next uh, Open Virtualization Pro webinars. See you. Stay in touch.